Hi guys, it's Hella from Dawn Emporium and sorry my dogs are being as loud as humanly possible so any weird noises, it's the dogs really I'm sorry this video we're talking about Scotland's Halloween which is usually said either Savine or Sawin for them it's not a New Year's even though they are a count a cat of them I would say put my teeth back in but frankly take them out uh, they are a Celtic people but it's not their New Year's it's a harvest festival and when you read up on um, Halloween the Irish and the Scottish seem to be at war over whose festival it is frankly if we're going to go for whose festival it is out of those two it's Ireland's because it's their New Year's. Sorry, Scotland, you lost this one. There is a winner overall, but out of Scotland and Ireland, it's their New Year's. Yours isn't until January 12th. And that's Hogmanay. And then when it comes to Hogmanay, the winner of who wins Halloween, their Halloween sounds a lot like Hogmanay when said fast enough. So let's go on to the ins and outs. Originally a harvest festival, Sawin was held on the 31st of October as the veil between this world and the other world was more easily crossed. To venture outside on this night meant risking being taken by the, I'm going to slaughter this word, slu, slau, S-L-U-A-G-H. And I know that I kill Albert, Albanese, Scottish. Um, so I know I'm killing it. Or spirits of the restless dead. To counter the spirits, young men would take to guising, what is known as trick-or-treating today. They put on grotesque masks or blacken their faces before leaving their homes so they wouldn't be recognised as living mortal men by the spirits and taken by them. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction video, and this is the first time that we've touched on it, blackening your face is quite normal when it comes to Halloween. However, wasn't going to do it because it's not Halloween. And because of that, and I haven't got coal because that's what was usually used, coal dust. So... I'd have to use makeup and makeup to blacken your face when it's not Halloween or even cold dust to blacken your face when it's not Halloween or a festival or, or, or makeup for certain other things. If you're doing like Celtic and Pictish makeup, um, like their, their traditional makeups, coal is quite often used along with berries and things. That, that is one thing, that is traditional makeup. Doing it for me now, I'd cast that as blackface. That's, that, that's no, that's new. Um, so that's why I've gone for this look. To me, I look like there's all different colours of gourds, not just the orange pumpkin. So to me, with the colours I've gone for, Frankly, I look like a white gourd that's been hollowed out and has candles in it. As opposed to going all orange and then looking like the traditional pumpkin style gourd. Just saying. Although with my hair colour, probably gaudy gourd with extra gourd. Um, yes, so... The custom of going door to door collecting food for Sawin feasts and fuel for the Sawin bonfires and offering for the gonna kill it again. Um, is it East Shea? Um, fairies and nature spirits are easily recognizable today as part of trick or treating. As far back as the 1700s, it was also known as Mischief Night due to the traditions of playing pranks. In some parts of Scotland, two bonfires were lit and local people, and sometimes their cattle, would walk between them as a cleansing ritual. 
The bones of slaughtered cattle were sometimes thrown into the pyres. In other areas, torches of fur or turf were lit and carried sun sunwise, which confuses me. Now I get east to west. Is it east to west and then west to east? I'm, I'm guessing. Um, around the homes and fields to protect them. In some places, each family put on their put out their fire, then relit it from the communal bonfire, thus bonding the community. Uh, communal eating was part of the festivities, and one such tradition was going to kill it again. Fereg, um eaten in the Western Isles. Fereg is oatmeal and cream, or sometimes potatoes instead of cream. Potatoes and oatmeal together sounds vile, I have to say. I could be wrong, but I'm just sitting there thinking, starch, tasteless, and wood chip. Now, oatmeal and cream, awesome. But potatoes and oatmeal, I'm just sitting there thinking, really bad mashed potato with wood chip. That, that that's what's come into my mind i'm sorry guys it's probably better than it sounds if you know how to make it um made in a large bowl in into the bowl of farag would be placed a ring a coin and a button all the boys and girls would gather round and eat the farag until all of the objects had been found the ring meant you'd be the first to wed the coin meant you'd see riches, and finding the button meant you'd never marry. Apparently, um, this tradition all, has all but died out in the Western Isles of Scotland, but I'm glad to report it lives on, apparently, in parts of Cape Breton in Canada, which I, I am actually happy to say, you know, that there, there are good parts of immigration. In the Highlands, sources of milk were left out for the cat Sith. The cat Sith would bless any house that left milk out for it and curse those that didn't to having their cows run dry of milk. And now we won't know where the Sith from Jedi Law get their bad rep from. Cats. Just say it. So... There, there, by the way, there are other types of Sith. Sith seems to just basically be spirits. I, I have to say, I love it. I don't see why it's so volatile between Scotland and Ireland over who owns Halloween. Because you both own Halloween. But it's completely different for both of you. Is it because your titles for it are so similar? I don't know. Get over it. For one of you, it's a harvest festival. For the other of you, it's New Year's and a harvest festival. You know, the day used to begin at dusk. Not at midnight, not at dawn, at dusk. So it makes sense to go the Irish way and at the start of winter, that is when the new year starts. So, like I say, the Irish win. I don't know what this January thing is all about with Scotland and Wales. That is the only time I can find for your new years by the way and seems to tie in with the old calendar is it the julian calendar and we're currently on the gregorian or the other way around I, i've forgotten but um i no because april falls was on the old calendar wasn't it the first of april that's why it's april falls day but anyway, yeah, so I don't get why, honestly, if you have a look on websites, they are both there literally thinking of Sith 
with their lightsabers out, threatening each other. It, it is very confrontational. It's our festival. It began here. No, no, I don't think it began with either of you, to tell you the truth. I think it began with both of you for different reasons. And because your languages were so similar, you chose very similar sounding names. And because of that, and because your cultures were so deeply interlinked, you did very similar things. But the fact that to this day, you are both sitting there saying whose it is. Now, I'm sorry. If it's who it's most important for, that, that it's going to win out of Scotland and Ireland. It's going to be Ireland because it's their new year. Sorry, Scotland. I've already broken England's heart. I've bigged up Wales. Now I'm going to break Scotland's heart and big up Ireland. So now we're down to Cornwall and the Isle of Man. What's going to happen with those? Right, but let's see how we're going next because next it is Ireland. I'll see you in a minute, guys. Have fun. He doesn't want to stop. I'm going to cry. Bye.